usually when I go shop at Sephora, they give me the tiny little bag with that couple items in there. But this time, I went ham. I walked into Sephora, picked up a little basket, which I hardly ever do because I'm always like, okay, I'm just going in for one or two items and that's it. But this time, I was just like, oh, what's that? Oh, it fell in my bag. I guess I have to get it now. It is May 3rd, so that means at Sephora, currently there is a uh, VIB Rouge sale right now where Rouge members get 20% off. Therefore, I went to Sephora and got myself a bunch of goodies. Yeah! So Rouge gets 20% off while VIB gets 15% off, so yeah. I bet a lot of you guys are VIB members. So, today I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the Sephora sale, and hopefully there are some items in there that you might wanna get for yourself too. So at Coachella, I lost my lipstick, like the first day, it was the only one I bought for Coachella to use at Coachella. I lost it there on the ground, so for the rest of Coachella, I didn't have any lippies to use. And Ava kindly lended me her, um, lip liners and she used the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liners and I've never used those before and they're so good. They lasted all day, all throughout Coachella at the end of the night. I still had lipstick on so that's great. So I went to uh, um, Sephora and picked up three of them because they were so great. I got one in bow and arrow. I got OG Lolita and then just regular Lolita. Now they didn't have like the samplers up um, so that I could test it and so I just kind of like blindly went in and grabbed whatever I saw and thought I'd like. And the nice thing with Sephora is that if you don't like something you can always return it. So I bought Lolita, OG Lolita, and Bow and Arrow and this is going to be the first time I'm doing swatches for them too. And I believe at Coachella um, what Ava gave me was the Lolita and I really liked it and my hands are clean so I'm just going to do some swatches. So this is Lolita, it's like a plummy pink. It has like a very, like a reddish plum tone, but it's still on the pink side. These go on so smooth. It's incredible. And they're not drying to the lips at all. Like they're matte, but they're very, um, uh, what's that word? Moisturizing as well. Like my lips weren't dry that the night and I was a desert, you know, if you went or if you've ever been there, it's dry. Yeah. And then bow and arrow. I have the liquid lip in this, but also one of the lip liner. And Bow well, and Arrow is definitely more of like a nudie pink. It's still on like kind of like a pinky toned side, but it's definitely on like the nude, slightly mauvey side. So the top one's Lolita, the bottom one's Bow and Arrow, and this one I have in hand is the OG Lolita. Let's see how that compares to Lolita. So OG Lolita is definitely a little more pinky toned. It is a like a berry toned. Um, Pinky nude, like a very nude almost. Um, yeah. Um, I can't remember if these were actually any of the ones I used and I liked at a Coachella. I remember using something that has like a little more orangey tone to it, like a sienna nude. But I still like all these colors, so I'm keeping these. But yeah, you have OG Lolita up top, Lolita in the middle, and bow and arrow down in the center. So these were. $19 and with the 20% off it came out to be $15.20 which is a really good deal for like a really long lasting and non drying lip liner and they don't run either like you know when you sometimes you line your lips and you eat something oily the lip liner sometimes runs I experienced that a lot with like my MAC lip liners but with this no I like I ate a pizza at Coachella. And then the next product I picked up was a new primer. I need something that's hydrating because my skin is like a little, I don't know, it starts out dry, uh, but it's also oily. So technically I need combination skin, but sometimes I do feel like my face is a lot drier than usual. So I needed something more nourishing and moisturizing. So I decided to pick up the Too Faced Hangover RX. It has coconut water and my Peter Thomas Roth um, hydration or moisturizer or whatever it is. It also has coconut water in it and it works very well for my skin. So I picked this up hoping that it'll do the same thing too. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's just so cute. I love this packaging and it has a pump. <laughs> yeah, this is, I'm gonna try to pump a little bit on there on my hand. And it comes out like creamy. Um, you can see that it's definitely like water-based instead of oil-based. I think it's water-based. It's a probiotic based ingredient. Mmm, and it smells super healthy. It smells 
smells like a smoothie and it goes on super moisturizing. Um, it doesn't have like a matte finish. It does have like a very nourishing finish, like a, ooh, it, oh, that made my skin so soft. I like that. But yeah, it doesn't go on matte. Um, a lot of my other primers do go on matte and when I use a matte foundation over it, it's just extra matte. So my face is just extra dry, which I do not need. Yeah, this goes, it, it went on very wet and glistening, but now it dries out and it's just, it's, it dries on, it's not matte, but it's still, still moisture in your skin, you know? So yeah, so that's the Hangover RX. Uh, okay, so the Hangover RX was $34, and with the discount, it, turned, it came out to be $27. The next thing I picked up was just something to replenish my stash, uh, which is the Goof Proof Eye Brow Pencil. In my makeup tutorial I just did, I did say that I am getting my eyebrows makeup bladed in June. So um, I just picked this up anyways because I figured even after I get my eyebrows microbladed, I'm still going to need something to fill it in really quick. And I really love the Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil because it's still a thick pencil but it has a sharp like, like tip so you can still define your brows and really, I don't know, this works really well. Um, it lasts for a while too and it's waterproof. So yeah, just replenishing my stash, Goof Proof Brow Pencil, highly recommended. Love this benefit product. And the um, Benefit Goof Proof was $24. It came out to be $19. And then another thing I had to pick up, Hoola Bronzer, but they had the limited edition one. So I have the tiny little one, which is like yay big, and it was like the travel size. And I loved it so much. I'm wearing it on my face right now. I had to buy like the big old daddy size of it. And this is massive. This was, and this big old thing was uh, $44. And with the discount, it came out to $35. And that's massive. This is so much product. And look at this big old brush too, like brush and product and big mirror. I'm all for it. And I love the Hula bronzer. This is, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> and the next thing I picked up, um, I got a facial done at Sephora last month. A lovely guy who did my facial suggested that, oh, in between facials, I can also use the uh, Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Um, which is just like a peel mask and this has won the Best of Beauty Award 2017 awards. It is definitely on the pricier side. It originally is um, $80 but with the sale it's $64 which makes it a little more worth it. But it does come in like a large package. There is 1.69 fluid ounce in there. And I tried this in the sampler that he gave me and after doing peeling my face, my face was just so smooth, my pores were just so tiny, and my face was just baby soft. So yeah, definitely worth it. Um, it has AHA and BHA in it, and um, I know that I use that in the ordinary um, as like a serum, and it's just supposed to smooth out your face. So yeah, incredible product, highly recommend it. Um, can you guys see it? This is the Drunk Elephant. Hello, Billy. Hello, Billy. This is the Drunk Elephant um, Baby Facial. Highly recommend it. Um, this is what it looks like. Oh, the packaging is so freaking cute. Wow. And this is what it looks like. It has a, oh, what is this? Oh, it comes with a little like sampler of virgin marula oil. Um, don't know where that is yet, but that's cute. I like that. Like, I love it when you get like a bonus product with a product. This is what it looks like on the inside. But yeah, it's just a pink and white bottle and it has a pump. Um, it has chickpea flour and HA and BHA. You just apply it on and then peel it off or wash it off and it just leaves your face baby smooth. So, highly recommend it. And another um, thing I picked up was the Fenty Beauty um, Match Sticks Trio. I always, I really wanted to try this. I like all Fenty's products, but my only concern is that I do have dry skin, so when using the Fenty uh, foundation is just going to dry out my skin and not to mention also oxidizes way too yellow for me. So the foundation doesn't necessarily work out very well for me. I wish it did. But I'm really excited to try these matchsticks because I do love their highlighters. I love the body lava. I have, what else do I have from Fenty? I have the um, eyeshadow palette, the first one that came out. And I also have the, um, really, I also have the setting powder, which is also great. And these are so cool because they're magnetic and Pia 
Mullenbeck, which is one of my favorite content creators and um, YouTuber uses these too and she's did a tutorial on them so I thought I'd pick them up and use them. So they're basically like a contour stick and then a highlighter. Oh wait. Yeah, a highlighter stick and then like a lighter contour stick. So I'll swatch this onto my hands. So this I have is the lighter color which is meant for highlighting your skin. Um, so it's just a nice, like, very light, uh, goes on super smooth, pretty blendable, just like my fingers. And this is the contour stick. Ooh, yeah. I like that because it is, like, a warmer brown tone. I like using warmer brown tones to contour versus, like, a grayer tone. A gray tone sometimes just makes my face look very ashy, so I do like the warmer brown tones. Um, and then this is the highlighting stick. This is called Trippin'. It's kind of like a corally tone, so maybe I'll use this for blush. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like a gold and coral iridescent bronze, like uh, not bronze highlighter. Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like that might be like too orangey for my face, but maybe it also acts as a blush. It's definitely a little more corally. That's super pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on the bottom. So the top one is, from the matchsticks is bamboo, and then I have mocha as a contour, and then I have trippin as the shimmer skin stick. That's super pretty. Yeah, super excited to try these out. Um, maybe I'll do like a tutorial and first impressions of them on my face and see how like blendable it is. And it's super cool that these are freaking magnetic because that's just so fun. Like I would just love to fidget around with these all day. For the matchsticks, this is like the ah, this is the three in one trio um, pack. So this was fifty four dollars with a discount to forty three twenty. And then the last item I got that I'm super excited to try. This is the Soul Janeiro Gen Janeiro Soul Janeiro, but I used the Boom Boom Cream, Boom Boom Cream, Boom Boom Cream. Don't know how to pronounce it. And now they came out with this tinted transfer resistant shimmer called Glow Motions. And this is the Copacabana Bronze and it's like a glow oil. This is super pretty. It's like, um, I guess it's an oil, so it just makes your body glisten. You probably use this for pictures at the beach or just laying out in the sun. Uh, but yeah, it's super sparkly. It comes in this like copper toned bottle with a rose gold lid. I'm just gonna pump some onto my hand here and show you guys what it looks like. And it has a locking pump, which I really appreciate that because sometimes pumps can even just get messy and stuff if you're ever traveling with things. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it literally looks like something just pooped a little chunk of copper on you, which is nice. It's like really pretty and glittery. And now I'm just gonna rub it onto my arms. Ooh. Oh, it smells so freaking good. It has the same scent as a Boom Boom Cream, which is freaking amazing. And yeah, look at that. It just makes you look instantly bronzy, kind of like glowy. Let's see, comparing it to like this arm, which has, which has nothing on it, nothing. And then this side, which has like the, the glow oil on it. And it's kind of crazy. So many brands are coming out with glow oils. I know like Patrick Todd just came out with one. Um, Huda Beauty just dropped hers. And then Fenty had the body lava, of course. So I feel like Fenty like started the trend. Not everybody's hopping onto it like this summer. Um, but yeah, this is super pretty. Um, it's kind of sticky, which I don't, I honestly don't mind. It just gives me the feeling that my my body is a little more hydrated, but it's not transferring. Um, so that's great. And it says non-transfer tip. Apply clean, dry skin for best results. Skip body moisturizer before you apply or hydration glow motions. Cool. So yeah, it's not supposed to transfer either, which I appreciate because I anticipate myself wearing a lot of white this summer. Yeah, excited just to wear this out on the beach or I mean on a boat or something or just go somewhere and glow with it. Um, the Coco Cabana Bronze Glow Oil was was $35, which is really cheap compared to like the Body Lava, which is like 60 something, and Patrick Ta is like 50 or 60 as well. And so with the discount, it came out to $28. So yeah, super great deals. Um, makeup is super expensive, and so whenever you see a deal on it, definitely jump onto it because it's something you're gonna need in the future. Stock up when it's still here and if you have money to do it. 
highly recommend it. But yeah, this is my Sephora haul. Um, if you like it with items, please do go shop in Sephora. And also, if you do buy Sephora uh, stuff online, I'm going to drop you my Ebates link um, down below as well. Using Ebates, you can get from 1% to 8% of cash back when purchasing things on stores like Ulta, Macy's, Sephora, whatever. Like They have a lot of stores on there, and you get cash back for shopping. So you're pretty much getting paid to shop, which is really awesome. I feel like so far in the last year, I've made like a good 50 something. No, actually, I made like $100 off of using Ebates just because you know when I shop online it's instantly connected to my account and they don't make you like do any like extra pop like stuff or anything but they just gather the money up and they send you a check every quarter which is really cool so yeah get paid while you shop with Ebates not sponsored or anything not sponsored by Sephora or anything either I don't even have that many subscribers to be sponsored but yeah check them out and yeah to earn some extra cash I use Ebates thank you guys for watching and if you do like my videos hit the subscribe button down below please I'll super appreciate it. But yeah, to see you next time. Hey, please get away from the camera. Belly, no. Belly, don't chew the camera. Belly, no. No, don't chew on the screen.